Good morning everybody, it's another week of drawing request so I'm going to put everyone's comments into this random chooser and this week's winner is Zan Devoir and his suggestion was the feeling of leaning back on a chair, almost falling over, but at the last second you catch yourself, which really is a great suggestion because it can be interpreted in quite a few different ways, so I really like it. And the art movement that is randomly getting picked today, oh no, <laughs> is socialist realism. Now when I was making this list, <laughs> I thought, I basically went through a list of all of the art movements that I could find through history and then picked them out if I thought that they could be an interesting way of stylizing a prompt. And when I saw this, I kind of thought, is it right to take things that are very political? And by that I mean, just for a bit of context, socialist realism is an art form that was propagated in Russia between the 20s and 60s. It was really meant to create this glorified depiction of communist values. And you can't ignore that <laughs> when you're making a painting in the style of socialist realism. I think you do have to end up taking that as it's a key part of why it even exists into account. But then you are putting the possibility of drawing bacon and eggs in a socialist realism option. <laughs> so you have to start wondering whether you think it's actually appropriate. And the reason I think it is is because and I see this quite similarly when, I mean, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm an atheist personally, when atheists talk about not wanting religion in schools. Now, I don't personally believe in any form of a god, however, I do think that if you're planning on trying to educate someone about anything that has happened over human history, the idea you can ignore the influence of religion <laughs> in that context is kind of making it even harder for people to feel any connection with people in different times. I'm sure you know the feeling where when you study things like World War II, there's so much more emotional resonance than when you hear about, you know, even the Boer War, which is only like, you know, a hundred years. In the further and further we go back into the past, the more the human element of war, I think, disappears and it becomes more about the dates and the people and the country and, you know, the, the wider influence that war had on the culture as a whole. And in that same way, I think choosing art movements that have no impact from the political side of their culture and were not used for forms of propaganda or for things like that, well, there'd be very few art forms I could actually use. And though socialist realism is definitely more along that path, I don't see why they should discount it. Because, I mean, just to take a random <laughs> example, you wouldn't expect me not to draw something in a Disney style, whereas that was constantly used in war propaganda in its relevant time. It doesn't mean that you can never draw Disney because it has been used politically, and I kind of feel like this goes in a similar style. So long as I think I am respectful towards the art form, I don't really see the negative impact. So taking that into account, socialist realism, as you can tell, is a realistic painting style. It was the most popular art for over 40 years, like I said, which means it kind of spans a lot of artists and a lot of people and time and it naturally has lots of different branches from it. So it's hard to try and pinpoint a broad like style that I should try and mimic in this painting. So I kind of tried to focus on what were the key ideals when people would paint in this style. And the key things in socialist realism was the idea of the new Soviet man, the perfect person. This is an idealized idea of what a human should be. They're often the main character of their paintings. They should have an optimistic feel to them. Like, you should feel like these people are the most healthy and happy that a person could be. And a lot of that is because the art was intended to be almost educational, and it was supposed to show the revolution as completely, let's be honest, idealised. <laughs> the present and the future are both idealised, they're both perfect, and that offers kind of a restrictive 
way of approaching this painting. When you look through examples of the art, I think there's a few things that really come across clearly, and the one that I'm going to try and show a lot in this piece is sunlight. They love having very bright sunlight, very brighter colours within a realistic, more muted tones I guess, but there is this kind of brightness to the scenes, so I want to try and add the colour of plant life, because I know that plant life and flowers and a kind of natural side is also quite a common motif. Add that and sunlight into this piece. Now one of the funny things is, is that Zan's prompt, the feeling of leaning back but catching yourself at the last moment, that is kind of like an elated feeling. <laughs> so in some ways I think this kind of works quite well together. It's a lot more cohesive than I think some of the other prompts might have been with this art movement. So I think I got a little bit lucky with these two random choices. So yeah, you can see I used acrylic paint to try and build up these colours. I kept it quite blocky at first and then realised I should start shading a little bit more if I want this to be more realistic, but there's kind of a limit to how far I think I could go at A4 size in the, I, you know, I don't want to spend like 15 hours on this painting. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to get realism but not go too far into like every paint bristle has to perfectly shade into one another. So I hope I kind of got that effect across. I didn't really use a reference for this one which might show... I kind of feel like I should have picked one for the face. She's got like a bit of a... I don't know, she reminds me of Adam Sandler? I don't know why! <laughs> she reminds me of him a bit! So you'll have to tell me who you think this weird woman I've made looks a bit like. <laughs> And yeah, that's it for this week's drawing request. I hope you enjoyed hearing a bit more about socialist realism and seeing me struggle to paint it. <laughs> if you have an idea for a drawing request, make sure you leave a comment below. And that's it for this week. I hope you're all doing well and see you soon.